this secretary is completely unaware that she's being filmed by a hidden camera. But she's just about to find out. Well, L Linda? Yes? I wonder if you could pour two scotches for me, could you please? Yes, yeah, sure. And put about the same amount of soda in. Thank you. Would you? Thanks yeah. ever so. to siphon to stop running. I'm sorry. Oh, well, we were expecting that because we've got the candid camera in today filming you. What? time for more film of your good selves, the public at large, in situations in which we create the action and you provide the reaction, all recorded for your entertainment by the candy camera. You know, as one goes to the streets of London, one never ceases to be amazed by the things people wear, the way out dress and the makeup. And one wonders, what does one do to attract attention these days? Well, how about yellow wellingtons? And here's Bill Linton setting a fashion. You know, even within the Candy Camera team, we have learned to treat most things that Arthur Atkins says with the utmost suspicion. He has a very perverse sense of humour. And here's an example of it. This is what he told customers in a dry cleaners the other day. These, um, dirty. Pardon? Dirty. They are dirty, yeah. We don't, um, take the dirty cleaning anymore. We no, take... no, that's, that, all it is is a, one stain there. Yeah. A what? Sorry, stain. Well, it's dirt. I don't know what it is. If you can get it, if you can get it cleaned and bring it back, 
then we'll do it, for, we'll clean it for you. And if we don't take the stuff that's dirty anymore, we only take the clean stuff in and then we, we get it clean for you and put it in a bag and it's all ready for straight away for about a half an hour. You only do the pressing, is that it? No, we like to see them. If they can come in pressed as well, it's easier for us. You know, you, you get them cleaned and if you can get them pressed as well, it is easier. But if they're not pressed, we, we, we'll press them for you. So what have I got to do with this now then? Uh, get them cleaned and pressed and bring them back and we'll do them for you. Do what? Clean and press them for you. Alright. Alright? Yeah. Thank you. Not dirty, is it? Are you dirty? Well, I don't know. I've noticed it actually. I just said I'd bring it down. I don't think it's terribly dirty. But it wants cleaning? Yes. You see, we don't take the, um, the dirty clothes anymore. Oh. We only take it clean. If you go and get it clean and bring it back, we will clean it for you. Oh, I don't know. Is this a new thing then? Yeah. Well, it's only with us. We just don't take the, st the dirty stuff anymore. It's just the, the clean stuff that we take in. Then we clean it for you. So if you can get it get it cleaned and bring it back tomorrow, we can get it ready for tomorrow afternoon for you. Oh, we may as well have it cleaned somewhere else, isn't Pardon? it? We may as well have it cleaned somewhere else. Well, if you do, then bring it back. Then we'll clean it for you because we don't take the um, candy camera anymore. <laughs> there are those who say that Bill Linton is in need of elocution lessons, and this is most apparent in the piece of film we're about to show you. Bill is the boss of a company and is dictating a letter to a shorthand typist who is newly engaged from an employment agency. I have here your letter. Pardon? I have here your letter. And in reply to your letter, which I've just received here in... Sorry? Eh? What, what did you say? I've just received, here is my answer. I think you are taking a, a liberty regarding the proposition. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I think you are taking liberties regarding. The proposition. What we talked about in the grapes. Pardon? What we talked about in the grapes. Talked, you know. What you talked about in the grapes? What we talked about in the grapes. Um, excuse me for saying, but that isn't really very good English, is it? Um, I think you are taking liberties regarding the proposition what we talked about in the grapes. Yeah, we don't say what you talked about. Last Sunday. Um, if you say so. Last Sunday. What's the, the grapes are like fruit, you mean? Eh? Grapes. Grapes. It's a, a pub. pub. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Last Sunday. And I viewed the whole situation with Ashkern regarding the invoices. Situation with what? And I viewed the whole situation with Ashkern regarding the invoices. To me, the old thing is a load of hubbly bubbly. Hurdy <laughs> gurdy. And French armour rock. And what? French armour rock. Oh, so you're not serious. You've got it written down there. Can I? I mean, if no, you... no, no, no. This is all uh, Milford Ice. This is all got a provisional statement of strategy, and all these things there. Uh, no, oh, you can't. No, this is private up here. This is all what we call well, one night, uh, all to do with me um, scripting it. But you just write it down. That's just that's all right. French, all right. what did you say? Uh, how far have you got up to there? It's a load of hubbly bubbly, hurdy gurdy, and French something. Almond like rock. And as I've said before, 
What can't speak can't lie. What can't speak can't lie. So don't try any of this moody with me. And try to con me again. Otherwise, you can rest assured you get a handful of fives. You are. You get a handful of fives, you know, and a gob full of teeth. Broken. And a gob full of teeth, what? And a gob full of tooth. Broken. So rest assured. I'm telling you, Fred, no more aggro. No more? Aggro. Aggro. A-G-R-O. Aggro. Yeah. <laughs> or is it two Gs? <laughs> I don't know. I don't write aggro very often. Well, it's, it's in the dictionary, all that, that, that type of, you oh, know. Good. Good. Aggro, yeah. As I've sussed you out, If I have any more of it, I'll send the boys down. And you'll finish up with another broken arm. And a cut kisser. No, I st I, I'm not typing that. Well, read it back as you've written it then. No, that's a threatening letter. Huh? Well, since then, Bill has decided to take elocution lessons, and he's asked me to post this letter to a correspondence call applying for a course. The Arthur Mullard Elocution Academy, Wormwood Scrubs, London. Well, it's time to take a break now. Join us in a couple of minutes, eh? <laughs> Welcome back to part two. Arthur Atkins set himself up as a freelance gardener the other day and picking on houses that had well-kept and well-laid-out front gardens, he went in and asked the householders if he could do some gardening for them. However, there was one snag. Arthur can't tell weeds from flowers, and the weeds he was offering to pull up for them were, in fact, some of their prized blooms. Do you like the garden? Huh? Do you like the garden, Dan? Nothing, you. I'm hmm? a gardener. The gardener? I've got my own garden. I can do all, take all these weeds up for you and... No, thank you. It's, no? not, it's not weeds, it's, it's flowers. This is weeds, isn't it? What is weeds? All these weeds, they can come out. No, thank you. Hmm? I've got my own full-time gardener. I don't need a gardener. Thank you very much. Hasn't he been lately, then? He's been yesterday. Has he? Yes. It's OK. OK. Take these, these weeds, do you want up? No, I don't want anything done, thank you very much. Okay. You don't want any done at all? No. See, I could get rid of that old... No, you better thing. not, no. Why don't you try next door? Oh, the lady has a gardener, comes every, every day. Oh, you yeah. obviously haven't... No, well, Mum does it all, you see. Hmm? Mum does it does all, she? you see, yeah. I could give her a hand, weekends if she wants. I could dig all this up for you. I put cabbages in and things. Um, <laughs> nah. Don't want cabbages. Nah. I could put a line of nah. cabbage and lettuce along there. Nah, thanks. Everything's all right here. I'm employed here to do the, look after this. Are you? Yeah. You're going to do the lawn? Yeah. Put a lawn there? No, we don't want a lawn here. We took the lawn away and put that there. You could, I, could get, I know someone who dig that up for you. And put don't want it dug up. Shall I water the lawn for you? No, thank you. Nothing. Huh? Nothing at all. Well, I could take these, no, these weeds out. No. It's my job. Sorry. What about these weeds? No, thank you. I've got a lawnmower in the van. I've got one up in the ship. Have you? Yep. Now, there's nothing doing. You're... Sorry, you're wasting your time. 
There's no weeds on this lawn. There's a lot of holes there where I've taken them out. Where, where you've taken them out? Yeah. I could give you a hand to dig this up and we could put cabbages in. Or, or plastic roses or something. Huh? This is rather an elaborate candy camera stunt and it involves this lift here. Now I won't tell you any more than that about it because you'll see what's happening as we go along other than we're expecting some people along to deliver and call at an office on the second floor. Now bear that in mind, they have to get to the second floor. all this activity is taking place let me explain further what is happening inside the lift shaft on top of the lift we have two engineers who are rocking it to simulate a lift in motion but in reality the lift never leaves this ground floor you going down or what? eh? you going down or what? who are you, who are you looking for? are you going down? No, you, you, what are you looking for? Second floor. Uh, is that Abrams, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Alright. What's up with this lift then? Huh? Who do you want then? It won't stop at the second floor. What? Well, it's da down downstairs. But it won't stop there. The lift. It well, keeps going by. Well, it keeps... Every time I press number, number two, I get one or three. Who do you want, Governor? Abrams. Eh? Abrams, I'll have that. Who? Yeah, no, yeah. What, what do you want, number? Two. What's the second floor, Governor? I oh, know, well, I've pressed no, two no. twice. Eh? And I've got three and one. Yeah, well, you press two, that's... I've pressed two. Huh? And I've got three. Yeah. And I've got one. So if I press three, maybe I'll get two. Take your way. I think I'll walk up. There's no chair, no, no stairs up there, Gov. So you've got to go up there. How do I get to number two? Huh? How do I look at number two? Just press it. What are you doing here? Huh? 
Do it, What? Won't you just do us? Just speak to you. Did I just speak to you? When? Or to your twin brother down there? What? 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 Where are you going for? At that? number one. Who's in that? Look, I want your number two, right? Yeah. yeah. I pressed two three times. Yeah. I pressed two once. It went up to number three. I pressed two again. It went down to number one. Now, how do I get to number two? Abraham. Yeah. That's the second floor, girl. You, I know it's the second floor, but I can't get to the second floor. I can't go up the stairs and I can't go up the lift. Well, Ruth, this is the third floor. Press button two. I've just pressed button two three times. Three times. And I've got to three, I've got to one, but not two. Now, how do I get to number two? Can you show me? Well, it's nothing to do with me, girl. I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm waiting for an appointment. Press button two. I, I've told you I've pressed button two three times. Three well, times, and I can't get to two. Now, how do you get to two? Can I go down the stairs? There's no stairs, Governor. I can't go up, I can't go down. I'm going to press button three. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> Pardon? It's a funny bloody mix, this is. How do you get the number two? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm a bit deaf. Oh, oh. What do you want? Can I, I want help number you? Two. Number two, floor. Number two, this. Oh, Mr. A I'm Mr. Abraham. Well, how do you get it? Well, oh. you came up and I you... came up to... I pressed the button two. Yes. And I got to number three. Yes. I pressed button two again. I went down to number one. Yeah. Now, how do I get the number two? Although you're Mr. Abrams. Can you tell me? Yes. How? Well, I'll show you. Go on, show me. I'll show you I'm how. interested. Now, yeah. you can either go to floor three, or, alternatively, you can go to the ground floor like this, because the lift stands still in this building, you see. It's the floors that move. Oh, yes, that's very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying this. Now, I'll show you. If we move this wall here, that's where you came in. The lift has never moved. Well, that's the greatest. Because you've <laughs> just been on candid camera. Is that a fact? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear old daddy. I must see this. Let me know when it's on. Well, that's all from candid camera for this week. We'll be seeing you around, so don't be surprised if someday, somewhere, someone steps up to you and says, smile, you're on candy camera. Good night now. What do you want, man? I just pressed that the second floor, it's gone to the third. I just pressed it again for the second floor, it's come back to the first. Who do you want then? Mr. Abrams. Uh, second floor. Yeah, I just keep pressing it, it's good. Oh. <laughs>